Adam Hamilton is, uh, is something of an amateur astronomer. And he, he has told in several of his books about one of his, his favorite things to do late, late at night, especially on a summer night or a warm evening in the spring or fall, to take his, his telescope. And he has a really nice telescope. He even, he even says it's a such and such telescope. I, I don't know what that means, but I take it that it means it's a really nice one. He teases he can almost see the American flag there on the moonscape as he, as he looks at, at a full moon's brightness. Well, maybe not the flag, he says, but, but the mountains and the valleys and the contours. It's amazing. But he says, you know, on a full moon night especially, when there is so much to see, I have to put a, a, a lens over my, my viewing port to, to filter some of that light because it's bright enough to damage my eyes if I don't. Now the moon is not the source of any of that light. The moon doesn't generate any light. It reflects it. The light is coming from the sun. Our task is, is much like the way we witness the moon glowing in the darkness. Shining a light toward a world that's accustomed to darkness. We need to remember that we, we don't generate any of that light. It's not our light. It's a light that comes from the sun. Well, a different sun. Not the one in, in, in the sky on a bright summer day. The one in our hearts as we gather to pray. Don't be confused, it's not your light. But don't be ashamed to share it. Because a world accustomed to darkness will be drawn its direction. This is Ben Moore from West Highlands United Methodist Church with a thought for your day. Just another way of reaching out. Thank you.